Uh, what's up guys in this video i'm going to show you on how to create a git uh, repository it's quite a simple process just a few minutes and you will be through with the your repo as we usually refer to it so there are generally two steps that you need to to take or two alternatives that you can take to make your repo but before creating the repo step number one you need to be having an account with the, the github so if at all you have a, the github account at the dashboard there are two options that you can take to make your git repo we have this option where there is the new top repository and the new then on the profile part there is also you can also create from this section as you can see from uh, this point the top repository that i have there is this one the carlos beckham slash elx pre course where the other the other repo is referred to as the carlos beckham coding 2023 because uh, this i find is a little bit uh, easy for everyone let's go for the longer one so that you can have the two options in which we can create uh, our repo so on uh, this part you you click that button it will take you to your profile below the profile there he is your repository this is the point that you can create your repos below the repos we have the your project that you have your code space your organization or the way to the setting where you can adjust now the setting in case you are interested in making some changes on your github so let me click uh, the your repository so on this point it will take me to this section the overview where you can see that uh, the number of uh, repository that i have i have only two then the zero project no package no stars now since i'm interested to make a new one i will click uh, the new button these are the repo that i have already created just as you can see this one this one was uh, updated 10 minutes ago well uh, for alx pre course which is public was created or rather updated two weeks ago so let me try to create a, a new one i will click that button it will take me to this section where there's an option to create a new repository then uh, the first part it always shows the owner who owns the the repo and in my case this is my repo which goes by the name carlos became then i will give my repository a name i can pick whichever name maybe a nice name like uh, love coding love coding maybe it's a nice, nice name for a repo then after that there is a and what you need to remember ensure that you create a it uh, should be number one the repo name should be short and easily memorable those are the two key parts that you always need to remember before you create your repo name then the next part the the, the description part which is optional but uh, to make your work look more professional always ensure that you write something small on that section maybe i can give the description like um, training online students on how to create repository repository then below the description section they have the button in which you can either pick the public or the private if you pick the public anyone on the internet will be able to, to see your repository while if you go for the private only you are the only person who will be able now to see your repository so i will make my my repository to go public then i'll pick the public button then i will uh, i will not choose anything then i'll go all the way to the create button at the, the lower part of my page then uh, you can see that i've successfully created my 
repo, it is that easy. So you don't have to keep on ordering on how to create a, the repository account on the GitHub. It's that simple. So in case you have